Hello there and welcome to Paris Set Me Free, Paris Photo Tutorials, where I have a look at a couple of photographs or a photograph of mine from my Creative Paris street photography and analyse it from two points of view. One is the personal side and one is from the technical side, but I must admit I generally... No, no, it's a mixture of both. And uh, today we're going to look at three photographs, in fact. Three for the price of one today, folks. Uh, although they are all on the same theme, uh, which is kind of sensible, isn't it? So, uh, the first one you can see here, can you guess where it is? Paris uh, fans will probably be able to guess, although not know for sure, because there are several places in Paris where this sort of thing goes on, but there's one that is more famous than all the others put together, probably. Okay, look, uh, I'll just show you another couple of ones in this uh, series that I had to choose from. These are the originals, of course. Yeah, there you go. Da-dum, 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 and da-dum. They all look pretty similar to me. Hang on, I'm just going to check. They're not the same photograph, are they? No, look at the, the edge of the, the side of the guy's head. There he's looking away, there he's looking at her, there he's got his hand up, and there he's got a, his hand up, but just a finger is in view. All right, so quite a few um, art sorry about this, quite a few artistic uh, uh, decisions to be made there in terms of choosing the right photograph which is the best one and uh, we're going to look at that in some detail right now uh, let me see, tell you where it is can you guess, can you guess where this little hand is going to go? it's going to go there if I'm not mistaken it's going to go right to the heart of my most popular photo tour which is in Montmartre, of course, quite rightly, although that doesn't make it necessarily better than any of the others, but uh, but that's where we are. Now, where are we exactly? Hang on, I'm just slightly lost here. That says uh, Sacré-Cœur, Basilique du Sacré-Cœur, but I'm looking for... Ah, I'm a bit lost here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go, Place du Théâtre. Right, now, I'm going to try and see if, this, if the little guy uh, can show us... Yeah, yeah. Looks like the good old Google van has gone down there. Hey, how about that? There it is. This is the famous Place du Théâtre at Montmartre, people. How about that? Look at that. That's a cute little cafe, isn't it? How on earth did they get that photograph with, without 3,000 screaming tourists? That is amazing. Hang on, I'm just going to look at the light see what time of day it is. That is unbelievable. Where are the people? There's a dude. I'm guessing... Ah, look, he's got chairs in his hand. I'm guessing it's early in the morning. Uh, there's some sort of delivery van. Ah, sneaky. They've gone down there. To be honest, it's about the only time they could. They've even gone down down this edge here. That's incredible. I can't believe it. Hey, where did they <laughs> where did they come from? This is Place du Théâtre, not the last one. <laughs> All right. Now, if you look carefully, you can see some uh, people... Um, some artists drawing. This this square is very famous for its its artists, people who draw you. Look, there's a couple. There's a guy drawing a woman, you see? That's amazing. The last photograph there wasn't anyone, and then all of a sudden... See, this is what it's like. Yeah, there you go. And it's really, really great. Really amazing place. Okay, it's touristy. Yes, it is. I know. Um, having said that, Paris is tourist. Paris is touristy. So, so, so you know. What do you want? Um, so you walk around this area, and you see what's going on, and you start to see um, things like this: people drawing people, and uh, there are some magical moments to be had. Now, look, I got this guy. He had a terrible twitch. Every I don't know how the girl could concentrate and look so calm, because every guy this every time this guy looked at her, he shook his head violently uh, two or three times, and then carried on painting for another drawing for another couple of seconds, and then did another violent shake. You know, weird artists, eh? Um, so anyway, I had several to choose from. I had more than four, but I'm going to show you four because you're looking at my my f my first pre-selection before choosing the final one. All right, so let's look at what's different between these. These are the four that I got rid of all the the crap, you know, where she had her eyes closed and or it was blurred or whatever. Now these are the four that I decided to choose my final one from. Okay, here. 
absolutely beautiful portrait by the way superb um one of the one of the skills of these people is they make their their subjects slightly more beautiful than they actually are in real life um definite skill you can watch these guys and you can see what they're doing they've they've got this this way of making them look like top models and stuff i mean the girl is lovely uh but he or she could be i don't know claudia Schiefer or someone so um yeah superb superb portrait um, okay, there's his hand. I've got the back of his head slap bang. No, it's slightly off to the left, and there's some guy's uh, back there. The girl's face is completely visible, and there you've just got one eye showing, which is kind of cute because it's kind of peeking out from behind the side of his head. Is it? Is she looking at him or at us? This the girl is looking at him. So this, in the view of the portrait, is actually what he is seeing of the girl, because she, the the real girl, is looking at him. We are looking at the picture. He's painting what he's seeing. So it's there's this strange kind of I don't know if it's a triangle or a, or a parallelogram or something. But she's looking at him. He's painting what he's seeing. She's looking at us, and we're looking at all of them. Okay, let's look for other details. There's his hand. The hand is vital. He's an artist. Why isn't he just a passerby? You know, getting in the way of our shot because there's his hand with the, 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 the charcoal stick or whatever it is. These are these are all vital things to think about. What are you showing? You know, are you showing someone getting in the way of the photograph or are you showing the artist at work? Alright. Um there's another one. Okay, her face is is more hidden, you see? It's almost hidden by his lapel, but you can still see both eyes, and here you can see both eyes as well. Plus the hand is in action. So I'm starting to think this could be a stronger shot, except for maybe the girl's face. Do I want to see more? And a major photographic decision. Do I want to see two eyes on the girl or one? Okay. There's the one looking over his side of his head. And there's the two in the picture, I mean. Okay. Here's the third possibility. Uh, she's a bit fuzzier, perhaps, although what you're looking at is a bit fuzzy. The side of this side of her eye is slightly chopped. I prefer just one eye or both of them clearly. Uh and there's no hand. He isn't interacting with his with his portrait, which is is basically and there he's not even not only is he not interacting because you can't see his hand, but he's looking away, the girl's sort of distracted and she's bored. <laughs> the picture is bored. Okay, so I I I can't even remember which one I chose. I bet you it wasn't one of the two where the hand wasn't in the shot. Okay, I'm going to look for it. That's the one I chose. I chose the second one that we looked at because he's really interacting. Look at this. His hand is stroking the side of her face with his charcoal stick. It's almost like a caress. That's absolutely a beautiful, beautiful moment. It's not that it's the back of his head. It's showing, you know, he is creating her from her. There's this lovely girl looking at him and he is through it's going to his eyes mind and so on and then it's becoming produced here and then I'm looking at the whole scene I'm looking at the two girls and one of the great things about turning it sepia is that you lose the distinction between reality and the artist's work because look they're not so different these girls it's almost you could almost pretend that you're not sure which one is reality the portrait is so absolutely fantastic sepia is a creative choice and I think it works well here Okay, I said I was going to show you three pictures, but I'm way, way, way out of time. Um, but just to give you a little look, uh, I've got about 20 seconds. Uh, here's uh, another another lo lovely portrait of uh, an older guy. Um, you've got to get both people in. You've got to get the subject and the, the portrait. Halfway through, it's really charming to have it halfway ready. And then there's the guy and there's the hand. That's important. And one more. A, a lady who was absolutely killing herself laughing because we were laughing at the portrait that was being done of her. Look at those teeth! I saw her and I before I saw the portrait and I said to myself, he is going to do something with her teeth. And, and he certainly did. It was absolutely fantastic. She was killing herself with laughter. Loving it. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks very much. I'll see you again soon at Paris Set Me Free dot something or other. <laughs> Bye! Depuis que je suis à Paris, le jour et la nuit, je suis gris. J'ai compris la douceur de vivre, je suis fou de joie, je suis ivre. Depuis que je suis à Paris...